Are you looking for an easy way to migrate from Medium to WordPress? Well, keep watching. In this video, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to easily migrate your site from Medium to WordPress. There are a few things that will get set up, so we'll cover those now. First, we'll walk you through how to set up hosting. Then we'll get a domain name if needed. Next, I'll show you how to install WordPress to get it ready for import. And then we'll import the content from Medium and finally, we'll test the migration. So if you're ready, let's get started. The hosting account is what every website owner needs to have. And it's basically your house on the web. It houses all of your website files, all the images that you have on your site and everything. And this is where it's all kept. So you'll need to have hosting no matter what you do. And along with that, you want a domain name. That is the web address that somebody types in when they want to go to your website. Now at WP Beginner, we recommend using Bluehost as your hosting provider. They have great customer support. They are one of the oldest, most established hosting companies out there. They're officially recommended by the WordPress.org organization and WP Beginner users can get 60% off and a free domain by using our discount code. To get that discount, just go to www.wpbeginner.com forward slash refer forward slash blue host hit enter and it'll take you to that page we also have a link below that you can use as well from here just click on the big green get started button and it'll take you to the select your plan page you can choose your plan here the biggest difference between these two is with this one it's very basic and you're only allowed one website whereas with this one if you have web addresses or multiple websites that you want to set up, then this might be the best one for you. After you've chosen which setup you want, go ahead and sign up with a new domain name that you want since it comes free and click next. From here, you want to go ahead and create your account by filling in all of this information. And then down here, you want to verify the package information. I would say that your domain privacy, you don't need. We normally just turn that off. Things like Backup Site and SiteLocker, there are a lot of great plugins and features available within WordPress, so you don't need that either. Once you fill out all the information, you see the amount that's being discounted. Now just fill in your payment information and you'll have your hosting account set up. Now that we've signed up, we'll get a congratulations screen and we'll just need to click on the next screen where we can create our password. This password will be used to manage our hosting account. Once we've created our password, we're now logged in to our hosting account dashboard. So let's take a quick look at where we've been and where we're going. So far, we've successfully set up our hosting and we've gotten a domain name. The next step that we want to do is we want to install WordPress and we'll do that next. Now that we've logged in, we want to head over on the left to the My Sites area because we want to create a WordPress site. You'll probably not see anything here and you'll just want to click on create site to get started. From here, you can add a name. That's usually your domain name. And you can also add a tagline, although it's not required. So we'll click next. From here, simply make sure that this is the domain name that you have. And let's leave the directory blank. Down here, you can choose to select these helpful plugins to be installed. WP Forms is a great contact form. Optin Monster is awesome if you want to start collecting email addresses. And then Monster Insights is to track and look at your Google Analytics. So we'll keep all of those and click Next. And what it will do is it'll go through and install WordPress for your website. This could take a few minutes. Great. Once it loads, you'll see your login information here and you'll be able to log into WordPress from here. They automatically generate a password for you, so you'll probably want to show that password so you can copy it and save it in a safe space. Whenever you want to go into your admin dashboard, you'll always want to keep this link handy so that you can access it easily. So let's go ahead and log into WordPress and take a look around. Okay, now we have our WordPress site set up. We've had WordPress installed, and to show you what the front end of the site looks like, you can open this up in a new window and just take a quick look. And this is your site by default. So the next thing we need to do is go ahead and import the medium content to our website. Taking a look at our checklist, we've set up our hosting 
We've selected our domain name. We've just installed WordPress. And now our next step is to import from Medium. And we'll do that next. And there are two methods to do this. The first method is assuming that you have a user account or basically a Medium address like this. And we'll go in and export our data. The second way to do this is if you have a custom domain that is still set up with Medium, you can no longer get this. But if you did set it up and say you have blog.yourwebsite.com, then I'll show you how you can export that data as well. But let's do it this way first to get started. You'll need to log into your Medium account. And from your from the drop down up here, you'll want to go to settings. From here, just scroll all the way down to see the download your information. And we'll click on the download zip button. From here, we'll be taken to an export page where we can download everything. So let's click export. And then we'll get an email with the download instructions once that's done. And you see here, I already have my email from Medium so that I can download the archive. So let's click Download Archive. And you'll want to save it in an easy to access location. So I'm going to click Save. At WP Beginner, we created a Medium to WordPress export tool. And you can find that by opening up a new tab and going to Medium to WP.com. From here, it's a real easy transfer process. You'll want to scroll down and enter the Medium website URL of our site. I'm going to go back to my Medium site and copy this. You can right click and copy. We'll paste that here. Make sure you get the whole website address name here. And from here, you want to enter your email and your name. Once you filled all that out, go ahead and click Export My Medium Website. Once you do that, you'll see an upload medium export file. That's what we just picked up. So let's choose the file. So I'm going to click choose file. And I'm going to pick the zip file that we just exported. And click open. You'll see it here. And now I'll go and click on the export my medium website. And what that'll do is it'll make some changes to the file so that we can properly and easily import it into our website. So now you'll get a congratulations, the export file was generated. All you need to do is right click and save the link locally. Give it a name that you understand and click save. And now we've exported it from this tool. So now we can do the next step, which is to import it into our WordPress website. So let's head over back over to our WordPress dashboard. WordPress makes it really easy to import items. So to do that, we'll go to tools import. And there are a few different ways that you can import items. The one we're looking for is scroll all the way down. We're looking for the WordPress one. So you want to click install now. And once it's done installing, we can hit run importer. Now we just need to find that file that we just exported. It was a medium.xml file. So I'll click that, click open, and click upload file and import. From here, you can either choose to keep the all the posts assigned to an author. If you have multiple authors, then you could pick them from the drop down here. You also have the opportunity to import attachments. So we can click download and import file attachments. Do note that this may not work every time and you may have to re upload the images separately. So let's click submit. Once you go through the process, it'll upload all the information and try to attach the images as well. As you notice here, we did get a fail to import the media. That doesn't mean that the posts were not imported. It just means that they had a problem with importing the images, which is okay. So once this is done, we can go over to our posts area and we can see all of the posts that have been imported. And for my medium site, there were three posts that I have and they're now all in here. What you can do is hover over the view area and we'll open it up in a new tab to see it on our site. And you see it's properly imported and it looks really good. This is based on the theme that is installed by default. So that's if you have a free username account. But what if you have a custom domain attached to your Medium account? Well, I'll show you how to do that next. If you have a custom domain attached to Medium, say like this website, then you can grab the URL. So we'll copy that. 
Go back to the free medium to WordPress tool. Enter that website address here. Enter your name and email address again. And then you'll want to click on export medium website. And this time it will go through and export the items. This may take a few minutes to download. Again, once it's done, you'll get a congratulations notification. And then we'll can right click and save the link to that file. Give it a name and save it where you need it to go. Now the next process is very similar. We simply need to go back to our website and import it again. So I'm going to go back to my website area, go back down to tools and we want to import. We'll scroll down and we want to run the importer. We'll choose the file, click open. And the same thing is going on. We need to upload and import the file. Same with the other one. We want to download and import attachments if possible and select the author. So let's click submit. It'll go through the process of importing all of our data and then we'll get a notification screen at the end. And once we get the notification screen, we can head over to our posts area to see all the posts that have been imported. And now you see several more posts have been imported and we can even go to our site to take a look. And you see even the tag has come over and the time. Now, if you set up the free medium account and you've simply been blogging on there, there's no easy way to redirect to your website. You simply need to go in as many places as you can, maybe under your profile and say, check out my new website and point them there. But if you have a custom domain set up, then let me walk you through the process that you'll need to do to redirect the old links to the new links. So we'll go to posts. And from here, you want to go down to plugins. We'll add a new plugin. So let's click add new. From here, we're looking for the redirection plugin. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and click install now. And with all plugins, once you install, you'll also want to make sure that you activate the plugin to use it. Once activated, go over to your tools area, redirection. You'll need to add the source URL. That is the medium address and then the target URL, which is the brand new address that you have. So for instance, if this was my old medium site and it's under my blog, then I would take it from there. And then my new site, my target URL would be this and then click add redirect. So you'll have to do that for each post that you're trying to redirect from your old to your new and then, and then that will be set up for you. Now we're done. Let's quickly take a look and do a recap of everything that we've done so far. We set up our hosting account. We set up a domain name. We installed WordPress. We imported content from Medium and we tested our migration. Did you learn today's video? If so, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll send more helpful tips to help you manage your WordPress website. And thanks for watching.